dozens of people convicted of murder in Kentucky could have a new chance at parole. That's after a change by the Kentucky Parole Board. For the family members of those victims, the change is reopening old wounds. Victor Puente explains how the new rule could impact sentences first on Fox. I was there in 2017. Scotty Baker's family told a parole board how his murder had affected them. As an eight-year-old kid, it's, it's hard to understand, you know, where your best friend goes. And I still ask myself today, you know, I miss him so much. I just wonder what it would be like if he was here. Today, his mother, Ruth Rose, told me the only peace she had was the decision the board made a few days later that his killer, his stepmother, Stephanie Spitzer, serve out her life sentence. I guess the biggest thing is I thought this was finished, that we would never have to go through um, something like a parole hearing again. That is, parole hearings are painful. But today she also learned she'll likely have to go through one again. The Kentucky Parole Board issued a directive on April 1st of this year that inmates currently serving life or life without parole for 25 years cannot be ordered to serve out their sentence at their first parole hearing. They said this directive was issued after various legal issues were raised in a case challenging the board's existing practice. It breaks my heart that these families, just like our family, is going to have to go through this. One of the more than 40 cases impacted is that of Leif Halverson. He was on death row in connection to three murders in Lexington. Former Governor Matt Bevin commuted his sentence to life in prison with parole, and in 2020, he was ordered to serve out, but will now get another chance at parole in 2030. His attorney says that's a good thing. Because he is certainly not now the person he was when the crime occurred and he was initially incarcerated in 1983. Parole hearings for older cases will start this summer, more recent ones will be 10 years after their first hearing. For Stephanie Spitzer, that'll be 2027. Ruth Rose told me she didn't know about this change until I contacted her. And if I had to go back and do all over again, I would never agree to give her uh, life in prison with the possibility of parole in 25 years. I would have insisted that we uh, go for the death penalty. Victor Puente for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. The president of the Kentucky Commonwealth's Attorneys Association, Fayette Commonwealth's attorney, Luanna Redcorn, released a statement saying they have concerns about the parole board's authority to make these decisions and believe this sudden change is an affront to crime victims and their survivors. They also believe it violates the recently passed Marcy's Law Amendment.